do you have a Volvo 850 with the dual climate controls, uh, otherwise known as an ECC, electronic climate control, where when you start the vehicle, you get blinky, uh, blinky lights here for 20 seconds on initial startup of the system. Um, this indicates that there's a code stored, an active code stored in the climate control system. And there is a way on these 1996s to access the codes. I'll show you what I do to do it. I built myself a little uh, do-it-yourself uh, blink code reader. This is a momentary switch, meaning that when the switch is pushed in, it bridges the two contacts. Um, this is a 12-volt LED and a couple of spade connectors that I cut down to fit the ports in the OBD2 connector which is down below in front of the shifter. <clears throat> um, I'll provide the wire diagram so that you know how to make one of these for yourself and also where to plug it in on the OBD2 connector. Okay, this is how it looks like when it's plugged in. Um, again, I'll provide a wire diagram so that you know precisely how to hook this up. You know you've got it right when the ignition is off and the red LED is on. As soon as you turn the ignition to the on position, you should see the red light turn off. Um, that's normal. And this is how you go about reading codes. To get it to initiate the code readout process, you go ahead and push the button once, which will make this red LED blink red. And then after that, it'll spit out the codes. So I'll go ahead and do that and uh, show you how to determine what code is stored. One, two, three, four. One. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is a code 417. Um, I'll also provide you a list of the ECC codes. Anyway, um, so this is the first code that's in the system. There may be more. So to access the next code, you want to go ahead and push, push this button momentarily one time. One, two, three, four. One. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's 417. It's the same code. Um, basically what happens is if you have more than one code, You'll, you'll do the first code, for instance, in this case, 417. If there's another code, like 112, you'll see that the second time you push, after after the second time you push this button. And if there's a third code, you'll, <clears throat> you'll see that again after you push this button one more time. Uh, basically, every time you push this button momentarily one time, it'll spit out the next code. Um, in this case... I got the same code twice. So that means there's only one code in this system. Um, to try to clear the code, one thing that you can do is push and hold this button for five seconds or longer. Five to seven seconds. The red LED should come on in about three seconds. And that, at which point you push and hold again for five more seconds. So that should be, that should have cleared the codes. From here, um, we'll go ahead and switch the ignition off. And if we have a hard code, meaning the problem still exists, um, we should get the same blink codes. So let's try this again. 
Okay. Momentarily hit the button to spit out a code. One. 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 Uh, this is code 111. Um, that means there are no error codes currently stored in the system. So this is a good indication that whatever problem we had um, is no longer currently a problem. But um, it also shows us that we've properly reset the codes in the system. Anyway, like I said, I'll provide a list of the codes and also the wire diagram so that you can build your, your own little LED uh, blink code reader. And uh, I hope this helps. And thanks again for watching.